Hello, my name is Stephen Carr and I'd like to welcome you to an AutoCAD cooking class. In this class we're going to be working with 3D model so you should be able to share this file uh, from share out. Um, we should probably save this file, go file, save as, and put the first three letters of your last name and save that. I've got a couple of copies here so I'm just keeping track of everything. So this is um, the file we like to work with. This is a simple file. It's small. It's really good to you know for us to learn with this because the process that we use for a larger file is exactly the same. It's just a little more work with it. So the simple one is just quicker and it's better in classroom environment to help us out. So first thing I'd like to do is look at uh, change this from uh, just right click on the cube from parallel to perspective because perspective is actually is very nice. It's I like the look of perspective. Uh, it's better for rendering I think in perspective. Parallel is good. Perspective is very good. So once we have this set up, what I'd like to do is maybe just um, see if we can set up a little view here that we like to render so once we get this view set up we can go into our little into our control uh, view controls and we can click on our view manager so from the view manager we're going to set up a new view and this view we'll just call it render just call it render one and uh, there's a little, I'm just going to turn this save layer snapshot view off. This just affects layers and things like that. So if we do that, then we end up with, a, we could have problems later on by adding layers, removing layers, things like that. So uh, we'll just say OK and OK. So that now we're in here. So if we change something here, we can just go back to our controls and click on it and it's set better okay so once we're in here we should everything should be fine um, you sh sh were probably in your 3d uh, ribbon if you weren't in your 3d ribbon you need to you need to change it to your 3d modeling once it's changed to 3d modeling then you've got your home tab we're looking at the render tab and the two areas we're really worried about right now is sun and location and render. So let's just click on render and see what we get. Okay, I'm just trying to get this to fit in my window here. So once once we the render's done, it goes very quickly. Um, it's just materials here. There, it, you can see that there is lighting involved, so this is just the default lighting that comes uh, automatic. You have to have default lighting just like you have to have layers, everything else. So this is uh, our, you know, our file that we can create. Um, it's just 640 by 480. Didn't take long to do. Medium setup. Over on this side, we've got our information, image information date. There's lots of stuff over here so I won't worry about that for right now so I'll just close this so we've done our render with this so first thing I want to do is turn on the sky so I click on the sky and first thing AutoCAD says is, oh you want to take control of the lighting so we'll just turn off the default lighting and now we have our lighting so again we we'll just click on render So now using the default lighting, we can see that we got we have shadows, uh, you know, because we just have one light source. Here we have two light sources. So, but this is more realistic, uh, except for we don't have a background. So what we can do here is we'll just take a look at this a little bit more. Um, we can click on to our background here. If we click on to the sky background and illumination. Now, if we, by turning this on, we can render. Now, 
and it comes up and we can see things are starting to look a little bit cooler as we each step we go we see improvements of course if we wanted to we can always change the time so I can drop this down to say noon and look at the date so it says for August so we can drop it down to this is our month four this is close enough location <clears throat> right now okay we want to enter a location um, this you can set the latitude longitude or you can use a map right now it's set up in California so we'll just click on here Vancouver close enough again this is just approximate it's not really except your your uh, time zones it's not really going to uh, be 100% perfect but it's going to be very realistic for what for the area okay so now we've done that and we can try a render again and so we've changed the time we've changed the location so we should see a little bit of difference in our shadow locations now so that's pretty good so if we click on this the difference is just the time that's that makes sense I think it makes sense to me so it's kind of fun you can set this up however you like it so we'll just uh, close that again and so we do actually have um, with the uh, the Sun and with the background and illumination we actually do have the Sun here I can uh, go into my layers and I can just turn my I can just turn my deck off and if I go into orbit here I should be able to actually find my Sun the Sun should be there's the Sun location so the Sun is here it's in the sky so this is not really going to help us too much so I'll just go back to I'll just take out of here go back to my render picture and um, need to lay on get back my deck so um, if we go back to render again and we let's say we want to change this time to say something like 6 or 630 there 630 is pretty good somewhere in that area if we orbit we should be able to find our Sun over here okay it's here um, just what's happened is the uh, this has turned the sky off so I gotta put it back on and now I can orbit a bit so we can see our see our Sun so now we're in the we've changed the time so I'm just going to render that see what comes up So that's kind of cool. Um, it's a little bit dark, so uh, I'm going to just go into my render section and click on here. And I'm just going to just increase my. Um, we get a little thumbnail here. This is kind of like Photoshop thing. Uh, just increase the uh, midtones to two. Say OK, and if I do a render again so now things are a little bit brighter so so we have a little bit of control here things aren't you know work quite quite nicely for us so if we look at that it's a little bit darker it's a little bit brighter and of course this is our 
other render. This is our noon render, and this one would be our 6.30 render. Okay, so, so once we have our render set up, um, it would be, you know, this is again our trial, so we need to increase the render size and so on. Um, I'm just going to save these files here just so that I can use them in my slideshow. And this comes render 6, 6.30. And then this one here, I'm just going to save that one. Right click, save copy as, and we'll just call this my render and I'll just call this noon okay so once that's done I can close this so again the thing that would be very important would be to increase our resolution um, this is pretty getting pretty high 10 10 24 728 um, you know, it depends what you want to do with your files. So that's fine. So we increase our resolution here and quality wise we can bump it up to it goes up to five, so say four. And so now if I render this, I'll just click on render, I'll put it in pause because this could take a while. So I'll just click on render. There. It's uh it's now rendered. You can see the res it's higher. Uh it still says medium here. Um Again, when you're handing the, the, your final project in, you need to increase your resolution and also increase the uh, quality from medium to higher presentation. Um, the only, let's, yeah, this is really the only port thing that's important when you've finished your project so that you're sending in the correct file. If you send in those the smaller resolution, it doesn't look as nice and obviously you it comes in as a smaller size so if you want it bigger it helps to do that so have fun with this and we'll see you on the next tutorial